What's up, familia? Tuning in from Costa Rica. Juanpa here. Whoever's around, thank you for showing up and creating this vortex together. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Love to hear from you. And uh, from my side, I want to share with you a little bit challenging situations I've been going through. And hopefully this can help you in your own challenging situations, right? Because uh, this is where we I, I feel we really build our power. Our real power comes from that. But, um, you know, sometimes we feel we are in our power. And then when challenging situations comes up, it's like, whoa. I don't feel that powerful, right? I feel I'm moved right now by this. So I want to share a little bit how how that has changed in me for 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 so many years of of work, you know, of inner work, working on my nervous system, working on my brain, working on my mindset, right? And how really that has helped me um, look at life in a different way and really build that inner power. And this is exactly why what I want to share with you on this live stream. So let me know. When you're tuning in around here, I see some people showing up. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. What's up, Maria, Inez, what's up, Nicoleta, Pavla, Michelle, Miguel Leon, hermano, what's up? You're in Costa Rica. Wow, that's so good, man. Hook me up. Douglas, hey, que pasa, hermano? Wow, I see so many people now showing up from Costa Rica. That's so good. I love it. We got to do a Costa Rica meeting, hermanos. What's going on? We're all here. <laughs> wow. Oh, by the way, guys, great news. Many of you have asked me to share a little bit more around prosperity and abundance and how to understand that even better. You know, I'm all about the science, not just about like, hey, the mindset and law of attraction and just, you know, tune into the abundance and the abundance will appear, you know, <laughs> that's not my way. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't work that way. I don't think uh, that's deep enough for me. And it, it I just feel I'm, I'm, I'm almost uh, just uh, kind of, kind of floating around saying those things that sound amazing but for me they don't they don't really work you know could work part of it you could achieve something but I want to talk about the real deal I want to talk about the science and art of prosperity understanding what happens in the brain what happens in your nervous system for you to really tap into new ideas huh? for you to really tap into inspiration for you to really tap into new levels of energy that are available to you in order to manifest prosperity. You see, it's not that all of a sudden you receive a check of a million dollars because, oh, now you're tapped into prosperity, right? Or all of a sudden you receive a heritage or, you know, that can happen. But guys, really, are we going to wait for that? Or, or do we actually want to tap into our purpose to such a level that we, we wake up that inner genius that we all have? We all have that inner genius dormant in us. And through that inner genius, we start living in prosperity, real prosperity. Prosperity means every area of your life. So anyway, I want to share everything that has helped me really tap into prosperity and, and thousands of people that I have helped all over the world. I want to do this workshop for free. You have asked me. I always respond when you write to me, when you, you share with me your messages and, and you let me know your problems and what you're going through, like I respond, guys. I love helping you. This is what I love to do. This is my purpose. I, I do this all day, every day. <laughs> and I love it. You see me. It's, 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 just, it's just my thing, you know? We all have our thing and that's my thing. So um, I want to do a free workshop talking about the science and art of prosperity and how we can embody prosperity, like the embodiment of prosperity, not just the mindset of it. We, we all know about the mindset, and I use mindset a lot. I love mindset. I use it a lot. Of course, it's the base of it all, but how can we embody it? How can we walk it? How can we live it at a cellular level? at a nervous system level, okay? And how it also takes time. Many people think they do the work and they're like, oh, I'm so months doing the work or I'm a year and, and why am I not manifesting prosperity? Guys, for how long have you lived in scarcity codes? 
or slavery codes. We have been slave by the system. We're still living by the constructs of the system, right? We're still another brick on the wall or another part of us is still there. There's a part of us that's still programmed by the system. So we are running on those programs instead of unplugging from those programs and creating our own programs, creating our own neural circuitry, creating our own neuroplasticity, right? Our own neural pathways, that we create that are set for success, that are set for creativity, that are set for being the best version of you. And then that shows up in the outside world. But what we do first is that inner inner work, inner, inner activation, inner, inner, inner expansion, right? I call it inner glow. It's like letting that, that energy glow. You feel it. You wake up with it, right? So if you're interested in going deep into that, comment below with prosperity and I will send you the link to this amazing workshop we're going to be doing. Get ready. We're going to go deep. I'm going to be sharing with you some truths and some stuff that it may move you. If you're, you're one of the, if you're a truth seeker, and you are interested in like going deep in those themes and really like looking it from all the perspectives and you're into that and you're not just a fifi fluffy person like i just want abundance and it's just going to come you know <laughs> know that this is for you but if you're still like dreaming and just you know into like the law of attraction and affirmations and just on that which i use a lot again i'm not criticizing that but if you just love staying there and you don't want to know the deep work that you can do in your body, in your brain, in your nervous system, in your life, and how that shows up in every area of your life, then maybe this is not your training, okay? So if you, if you feel inspired by this and it moves you and you're going to share it with others and it's something that is going to help you be a better person and, and, and live a better version of yourself, Comment below with prosperity and I will share with you all the secrets, guys. Or as much as I can share, you know, in maybe an hour and a half of workshop we're going to have. Um, everything. You know how I am. When I open up, I just share, guys. And I have so much to share around that theme. So it's going to be a webinar and we're going to go deep into it. If you can't watch it live, don't worry. There's going to be a replay, but just sign in the link and then we can send you the replay automatically. You don't even have to ask for it, okay? So uh, that said, I see many people uh, tapping into prosperity, many people wanting to live or choosing to live in prosperity is definitely a choice, guys. It's definitely a choice. So I do see a lot of people choosing that. And this is so important. Whoa, there's so many people coming up here. I love it. Love the tribe. I love the tribe. Thank you, guys. And you know what I see? I do see a world, and that's coming, guys. I know we're in an economic crisis and things are going, you know, in very weird and challenging ways. But, guys, there is, and this is my vision. My big vision, my big picture is not about me or the center I'm creating in Costa Rica and whatever I'm doing here. Like for me, the big vision is like, it's, there's prosperity for all. There's abundance for all. It's a win for all. Uh, prosperity and abundance have been in the hand of very few people in the planet. And that's why it's been a mess. But it's time to change that. It's time to empower ourselves. It's time to bring our power back. That's it, guys. It's time to say goodbye to that old economic system and us standing up and owning what we deserve. Owning the kingdom, the queendom that we came to embody in this earth. That is who we are. That is our full potential. And if we are open to it, it's time to say yes in every level of our being. And yes, that means commitment. Yes, that means burning some beliefs down. Yes, that means maybe changing some habits and some behaviors and, you know, doing some effort is not just going to come out of nothing, but that that's what it means to come out of your comfort zone right? Because that comfort zone where you're at right now that maybe feels good and, and, and you know, it's like you're chilling and you're flowing and you're, you're almost in the, in, in the mediocre kind of place, right? Maybe. I'm not saying you are, but 
Could be like I've been many times in my life. I've been in mediocrity many times in my life. And not from a judgment place. Just mediocrity from a place that I conform to the situation. You know, I have the minimum. It's okay. You know, I have my food. I have a a place to live. And I I do well. I come out the weekends. and, And that's it. That's all I need, right? I kind of conform to that is what it is. But really? Really, is that what I came to live here? Is that my full potential? Is that really, really, if I ask myself, is that really what I came to embody on this earth, right? And I'm not meaning not being grateful because of course you're always grateful for whatever you have, for whoever you're with, like wherever you're at, it's always thank you. If we can learn to do that, that's the first step to ah that inner joy and that inner peace, right? I'm not saying um, feel bad about it and, 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 and you won't feel good until you change your situation. No. Empowerment is really being able to see where you're at, okay? Giving thanks and then being committed to change it, okay? So empowerment means... Being able to be raw and real to accept where you're at. Hey, I'm not feeling good with my relationship right now. Hey, I'm not making the enough amount of money like I feel I deserve and I can manifest. Hey, I'm not feeling good with my health. Like, what's going on, Wampa? Why am I eating so much rubbish? Like, this is not okay. This doesn't feel good for me. I'm done, right? Okay, so it's, it's being that humble enough to like lower our head and say, okay, this doesn't feel right. Thank you. Thank you where I'm at. At the same time, I'm grateful. I'm seeing this. Okay, I can create some change. I'm open for some transformation. I'm open to see what is the core of what's going on in my life, right? So that is the first step to open up, to be humble enough to accept that there's something more and I'm not showing up in the best way. Life is not showing up in the best way, right? Let me know you are following me and and you're feeling what I'm saying, guys. I know this can hurt for some people. It can touch your ego. It can be uncomfortable. I know, guys. I know. But you know I'm coming from love and I'm coming to help you. Because many times we're in such a comfortable zone that we're like, oh, I'm okay. Oh, again, Juanpa, let me just change the channel. I don't want to keep watching this Facebook live because or this Instagram live because it's just too much truth. Just truth hurts too much. Just keep me in my comfortable zone. (laughs) I know I've been there, guys. I've been there, but I can tell you something. You're not going to find that inner peace, that inner joy. You're not going to find that inner bliss. You're not going to find just that, that bliss of being alive and being who you are and like feeling that when you're going to die, you're going to feel you, you did the best you could. You lived the best life you could live. You came here and woken up your gifts. That's why we come here to humanity, guys, to wake up the gifts that are dormant in us. Or if not, what, are, what, what, what is it? Why are we here? Isn't that part of the purpose of humanity? So why am I not doing it? Okay? And that's part of what I want to talk about. Tapping into your power. Your power is your gifts. Your power is who you are. Your power is inside of you. And once you wake up, you are alive and awake and you wake it up, that power is just going to light through you, okay? That power is just going to light through you. Give me a yes if you're feeling it and you are letting it and you're surrendering to those words, letting that power flow through me. And I'm not talking about your personal power. I'm talking about a higher power. I'm talking about a infinite power. I'm talking about a universal power that's not related to your personal story. That's not related to how much money you have, how many cars you have, how much amazing clothes you have. It's not related to that. It's the other way. We first cultivate that inner power and we've got it wrong in society, guys. You get me? You you get how crazy society is? Like, we think power, it comes from the outside. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that girl. They have so much stuff, right? The cars and the money and the houses. And Oh, that guy has 10 girls. Oh, my God, that's so much power. Is that 
power? Or is that actually, actually lack of power that you can't commit to one woman and give yourself completely and see yourself completely nude and vulnerable and open up your heart completely and surrender completely to one person and you don't need 10? Isn't that the real power? For me, it is. For me, that is the real power. That is the power I'm committing to embody. Not when I used to, you know, play around with all these women here and there and, 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 and be nowhere and really not be showing up for anyone and not really being seeing myself with all my stuff, with all the patterns that would come up in, in my relationships, with all the stuff that would be shown to me when I would be with someone. And not keep playing around like a little, you know, hummingbird going around flower by flower. That's fun. That's great. If you're doing that, I'm not judging you, okay? Maybe it's your process. Keep going for it. I'm done with it. I'm done. And the, the way I manifested my queen is when I said, I'm done with that. That's the way I manifested the goddess of my life, the love of my life, my soulmate. We have been together many lives. We both felt that it was love at first sight. Yes, that exists. We met each other five hours without saying a word, <gasps> just like doing sounds and mantras and looking at each other's eyes. Not even sexual energy. It was beyond sexual energy. Guys, you know my story. Many of you know my story, right? Uh, share if you know my story because I've, I've shared this in, in other live streams and I love to share it because it is true, guys. The love of your life is waiting for you. But if you don't commit to wake up that inner power, that king or that queen that you are, how is that king and that queen that you want gonna show up in your life? How? How is that supposed to happen? Just because you're writing down, I am love and I am attracting the partner of my dreams, that's not going to work, guys. You need to change your operating system. You need to change your hardware. You have a hardware in your, your inner computer that is in your nervous system. It's in your brain. It's inside of you, guys. And if we don't change that and we don't commit to do that every day, and it can be fun. You know quantum flow. Who knows quantum flow, right? Quantum flow, it's a methodology I've been creating for over 25 years. It's, it's, it's got everything, right? Kinesiology, Chinese medicine, Qigong, yoga, like everything I've been fascinated and obsessed for so many years, right? It's like a compilation of everything. It's a full methodology that it's actually fun. You go deep into it, you have transformation, but at the same time, you're celebrating, you're opening up, right? There's many ways to do the work. Spiritual work doesn't have to be like, let me go meditate on a mountain forever, and that way I'm going to change my mindset. No, guys. Actually, maybe you're getting too serious. <laughs> I got too serious in spirituality. Very serious, guys. Kind of lost it. You know, trying to be the perfect meditator, the perfect yogi, the perfect qigong, the perfect nutritionist. I was fully extreme on nutrition, guys, for many years, 20 years. And I wasn't listening to my body because I, I was coming more from my mind. What's good for me to eat? And my body was telling me something else. And I wasn't feeling that healthy, that strong and that energetic because I wasn't listening because I was stuck into my mentality instead of tapping into the power inside of me, okay? So you see how it's all related, guys? I talk about relationships, I talk about money, I talk about purpose, I talk about health. It's all the same. It all comes from your core, the core of who you are, the core of your being, your soul, your high self, how are you gonna call that? That, that's emanating through every cell of your being right now. And the thing is, are you tapping into that? Are you surrendering to that? Are you listening to that? Are you committing to nurture that inner power constantly? Not just today, this morning when you meditated and you did the work and you did your quantum flow or your yoga or your qigong. No, 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 no. That's good. That's easy to be in bliss for half an hour, one hour, three hours, whatever. Like me, I used to do five, six hours of practice. And then what? How am I showing up in my life? Right? How am I showing up with my partner, with my son, with the workers here, with your life, with your boss or, 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 or your employees, whatever, however you're living your life, how are you showing up? Let me tell you something, guys. I almost lost it. I almost lost it. I've had a very, very challenging week, guys. I almost lost it this week. Like, it was really hard here for me. I had to bring out like my full potential. I think like one year ago, 
I would have exploded. I would have gone nuts. I'm not joking, guys. I've never had so much pressure in my life all in one. Okay, so let me just give you a little context. So I'm creating this retreat center in Costa Rica. It's called The Nest and it's an eco residency, right? We're, we're inviting people that are aligned to the same mentality and that want to live in the same way with nature and, you know, all the biohacking, most advanced stuff uh, that you can imagine and all the ancestral wisdom that I've been practicing for so long and, and everything that we teach all put in one place, right? It's like a dream place with all with permaculture, everything organic, everything eco, eco, like, but you know how much it takes to create that that's millions of millions of dollars right that's that's a lot of time energy and money right and not only to to have the vision and get the land and do everything but then have the workers here right now i have 30 workers working on my land right plus the, well, the ones that are in charge and that developer and that topographer and all that uh, the, 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 the the engineers and it's, it's a full team of like 50 people if you counted it all, and right? I'm, I'm kind of guiding everything here. I'm like the, 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 <laughs> the guy that's like, okay, looking into everything. Even though I have people helping me that are the developers and the project managers, I'm kind of looking into everything. So that's enough, enough of like making decisions, moving stuff. We're like opening like roads, clearing roads on the land, like clearing spaces for the lots, doing it everything in ecological so we don't touch one tree, right? So that is a whole science and art, guys. We're not just developing here unconsciously. It's doing it consciously. And every step you have to do it like in the highest, right? So it's not that easy. So I'm with all that pressure. Then I have... Uh, full pressure of we have the inauguration of the land which we're building this teepee. I don't know if you saw my stories, but we're building this huge teepee on the top of the mountain where we did an inauguration ceremony with 30 people that it was like next level, right? But we had pre to prepare absolutely everything. We hosted it completely. So we the most amazing food, the most amazing like shamans, the most amazing people like it was, it was crazy, lots of work. And building the tipi took us three days. It was supposed to be one day, but it was three days under the sun of Costa Rica, going crazy, like sweating and like bringing everything up. It, it's just one over the other. Then I had stuff with my son going on because he was kind of rebelling to the process and not wanting to help and in his own teenager thing going on and then stuff going with Regan because you know when there's pressure and there's stuff going on usually in the relationship that's related right and if you don't stay in your center you explode. So I was imploding. I didn't explode outside of me but guys I almost lost it. I would tell you if I would have been here a year ago I would have lost it. I would have treated my woman, my goddess that I love so much. I would have shouted to her maybe. I would have treated her really bad, you know, and feel really bad after because I would have exploded with anger or frustration or anxiety for everything that was going on at the same time. It was a big orchestra, right, to take care of. And at the same time, my online stuff and I have other businesses going on. Guys, like, and, and they... Things were just blowing up. I'm like, perfect, thank you, universe. Like, everything is blowing up right now. And in a good way, like online stuff, we have a three-day challenge that it's exploding. There's like thousands of people, you know, 2,000 people almost right now, just going off and sharing and opening up. It's really beautiful, right? But that's a lot of presence. I'm fully present with everyone and like showing up and, and being there. So it's so much going on, guys, that it's just a lot, okay? So that got me to a, Point, I would, I could feel myself breaking up inside of me, guys. It was very intense. I felt, or I explode, or I implode. And what I chose was to implode internally, to let that instead of explode externally and really come out in a way that I wasn't gonna be happy. I let that really open myself up to different levels of vulnerability. So what did I do? I just stopped. I shared with all the workers. Guys, I did a meeting. I got them some beers, you know, and some smoothies and whatever I know they love. I did a celebration. I'm like, guys, that's it. Now we're all gonna, today we stop at 12. We're all gonna get together. I want to celebrate. Guys, I turned it 
all around. We actually did a celebration, like every all the pressure that was feeling between them of timings and stuff between one another because they're not getting along well and because this guy said this and that guy. So we did a whole meeting. We shared from our heart what was going on. So they, they did some authentic relating. I'm teaching them that. We did some quantum flow, some activation, some breath work, you know, some movement, little bits, you know, but just enough to get them into their, into their power, right? And then after that, we're like, okay, now celebrate. It was just the energy was relieved in such a good way. Instead, me one year ago, what would I have done? I would have reacted. Fuck you, get out of here. Why are you treating that person like that? I don't like that, you know? Like, that's not okay. You don't do that in this land. That That's not permitted. That's not tolerated here. That would have been me kind of fighting for, you know, the highest rights and the highest light and the highest energy for everyone. Okay, you get me? From a good place with the best intention ever, but that wasn't gonna be the best for everyone. They're all working here. I didn't have to kick out anyone. Everything flowed perfectly well. I relieved myself and shared my feelings with them. I was crying, guys. I was crying. All these are men, very macho, you know, Costa Rica, man, I don't know, but Central America, all these zone here, they're, they're not, like, I know in, in the world, generally, there's a lot of macho, like, I'm strong, I don't cry, like, no emotions. Here, and especially when you go to a village and it's people that are not, you know, it's, it's like really like in the middle of nowhere. This is a village called Silencio, the silence, and it's in the middle of nowhere, right? And people just, they're used to like, just, just, just take it in. Don't express anything you feel. I was crying like a baby. They were like, whoa, I could feel them really uncomfortable looking to the sides, like what's going on? Is this our boss? Like, well, is he gay or like... <laughs> I had to clarify, guys, this is okay. I know, I know sometimes, you know, I feel a lot of pressure and I prefer this than shouting. Do you prefer seeing me crying or you prefer me seeing me shouting and, and you know, treating you not well? And you, they all started laughing. We hugged at the end. We did like the man thing, you know, oh, 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 and got really strong and got really like, we shifted it so beautifully, guys. And then that got to the engineers, that got to the architects. When the topographer came the next day, we were in a, a different vibe. Um, then when I came to my family, I was in a different vibe. And with them, I also came and expressed myself. Guys, I, I, can't, I can't do it anymore. I need your help. And I have this program in me, or had it, because I've been letting it go a lot, of the dad that takes care of everyone, right? The dad that's there to look for everyone and see that my, 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 my son is good and my wife is good and like everyone's okay, right? And I'm like, guys, I need help. I'm exploding. I really need some help. I have to get really vulnerable. And for me, that's the power. The power is when you let yourself do that, right? So I did that and it, it, it opened up, it cracked me up to the next level. I received so much love from them, from my family, right? And from the people around me, from the workers, from everyone. Instead of me putting the wall and pushing, hustling and going strong, I melted, I surrendered, I let it in and I opened myself. I open myself to let the transformation happen, to go to the next level. You get me? Let me know if you feel me, guys. This is really vulnerable for me to tell it to you right now because it's very intense, but I'm like, I want to share it with my tribe. I love getting, you know, being real, raw and real. And I know you see all these photos. I travel around the world and everything I do and everything I've manifested, but this is me, guys. I struggle same as you. I have challenges same as you. Like, this is my life. I'm human and I want to share my humanness. Um, with you guys. So for me, uh, part of that, like the most powerful we can be is when we let ourselves also be vulnerable and not get lost in drama. I'm not talking about being dramatic. I'm talking about being vulnerable and expressing from your heart where you're at, right? And guys, I want to tell you something. Thank you for all your love. I, I'm, 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 I'm hearing you. Yes, brother, this is so amazing. Thank you for sharing your human. I feel you. It's so normal. Yes, this is so good you sharing. Thank you guys. Yeah, that's real life. Thank you, Sam. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> you have balls, my friend. <laughs> Don't be solistic vision. Thank you, brother. Well, yeah, well, that's what I feel us men could 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 be in the world, you know? We've been like programmed to not be that, but why? Why are we denying ourselves from that? Right? So um, yeah, for me it's 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 it's, uh, it's, a, it's been a deep journey and how I relate this also to prosperity, guys. It's like 
prosperity started in my life when I started being really vulnerable and really accepting that I wasn't able to like help the people I wanted to help. You know, I used to help a lot of orphanages in my life. Um, I worked for a community, in a community for four years, you know, helping people from the street and helping children. And it's always been my thing. Like everything I do, I always donate money back to, to people that need it. Like it's, it's part of who I am. And, and before, you know, when I was starting, I didn't have money, right? So I would just, I just go work on an orphanage. I just go work and help them paint and help them build and help them, you know, I go pick up people from the streets and, and bring them to the orphanage, kids from the streets. Like that's, that's what I, I would used to do, you know? But there was a time where I'm like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, doing like one percent of I, what I could be doing. Like these children need, need some money. Like these children need to have good water. These children need to have good food. These children need to have a better home. Like, and I can't provide them that. I can go and paint and work and do so, but I don't even, I can't even buy them the materials, you know? So I was like, oh my God, like I'm really stuck with money. I have these big like beliefs that spirituality is not money and it's not okay to make money it's not okay to to get your value and really ask for an exchange for what you're giving like i had all these beliefs that were very deep inside i'm telling you when i was 21 years old right it's been a lot of work to to deal with this and, and transform it but 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 um the more i go into it the more i see like how this was stopping me from not only manifesting abundance for me my family and the people that i want to help in the world but for manifesting from a place of purpose, deep, deep commitment to my purpose. Like it was stopping me completely. Even though I thought I was tapped into my purpose, I wasn't tapped into like 10% of my purpose really. Because when I really tapped into my purpose, it was way bigger than what I thought. I was playing small. I was in my comfort zone. I was just kind of floating around, you know, till I got done with it. And I said, no more. Yeah, who's feeling it, guys? That, that, that was a big, big one for me. And that was really about being vulnerable. That was really about owning my power and saying, you know what, there's more for me. This doesn't feel good. I want to live a better life. And I want to help so many people around me and not, not being able to do it right now. So what am I going to do? I had to get nude. I had to get, you know, completely raw and real with myself. And what do I really want in life? What do I want to manifest? How, how much do I want to help the world? That, that, that I see so much suffering going on and, and so much I want to give, 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 but, but am I really giving the best I can give? You know, like I question myself so much and I had to get very humble and very vulnerable and look at all those blind spots I wasn't able to see when I was in my little cloud, you know? This is part of what I want to talk about into the science and, and art of prosperity. I want to teach you guys all these things, tell you a little bit more about my story and, and tell you a little bit more about how to see those blind spots that you can't see. Because, guys, I'm telling you, if you're not living in prosperity right now, there is something inside that you can change. There is a belief. That, that belief is connected to your nervous system. Somewhere there, the energy got crystallized. Somewhere there, there was a trauma. There was a wound. There was a belief that said, you're not good enough. You can't do that. Money doesn't grow on trees. Life is very hard. You're going to push in hard and hustle and struggle. Somewhere there in, an, in our subconscious mind, that belief got set. And your subconscious mind is related to your nervous system. So what I want to share with you is how the subconscious mind is related to the nervous system, related to your beliefs, to your habits, to how you're showing up in life, and to what you're manifesting in life. Okay, so number one, let's stop blaming it on the outside world. We don't blame it anymore. We look inside and say, okay, okay, I commit. I want to do that work and I want to go deep. I want to wanna shift it once for all. So if you're in that space and you really want to commit to do it and you really want to shift it one for all and you really know that you, there's another level for you, even if you live in abundance, right? Because I know many people that show up here live in full abundance and prosperity. But my question for you is, do you believe there's another level for you of prosperity? Do you believe there's something holding you back? And if that is a yes for you, I invite you to comment below with prosperity. And I will share with you the link. The team will share with you the link to this free webinar I want to offer for free. Free workshop opening up that we all may tap into abundance. We all have the right to live 
in abundance. This is my biggest intention for all of us, for humanity, and I do believe this is possible. And it starts with us. It's not asking the political, it's not asking the government, the education. It doesn't start from outside. That is giving our power away. So let's stop giving our power away and start owning that inner power and saying the change comes from within. I want to do the work. I'm ready. I'm committed. I want to learn. I want to understand so I can shift it. Because if I don't understand, I'm an ignorant. I'm in ignorance. I don't have the information. How can I change something that I don't know? How can I change something that I don't know what's going on? I just see the results. Money is not showing up for me. I'm not happy in my life. I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling abundant. I don't wake up feeling abundant. And for that reason, I'm not manifesting abundance in my life, right? Okay, so I'm open to see the core of it. Instead of saying, my parents didn't teach me that. My school wasn't good. I wasn't born in a rich family. I didn't have a good teacher. I suffered too much. I was this and that. Like... Guys, if I would tell you all that I've been through, all the abuses, all the wounds, like almost like anything that can happen to a human being has, has happened to, to, to this guy right here. And I know many of you don't believe me. Many of you know me because you know me since a long time, right? And you know what I'm talking about. Um, many of you think, oh, Juanpa, it's just a nice story because, you know, look at you now, like the land of your dreams, the woman of your dreams, the family of your dreams, like you have everything you've dreamed of, you know. Well, yeah, it's manifesting, guys, but it took a lot of work and a lot of commitment, a lot of looking at myself and a lot of burning bad beliefs over and over and over. Not one day, not two days, not one week, not one month over and over and over because that's how committed I was because I knew the money wasn't gonna come on trees because I knew it wasn't gonna happen just outside of me I had to shift it something inside of me and I knew that was related to my purpose I knew that was related to my heart and how I was showing up in the world I knew it deep inside my core I knew it and I knew that if I would die with that in my heart if I would die with those gifts in my heart that was going to be a big, big blockage I was going to be carrying. I wasn't going to feel like fully in my bliss, in my potential, fully in peace when I leave this body and say, yes, I did everything I could. Yes, I came and shared my gifts. Those gifts that are inside of you. That message that it is inside of you, that it's unique, that it's authentic. I know you hear me saying this all the time, and I will keep saying this because I know that after one or two days, we forget, and then you're looking at someone in the Instagram, oh, but look at that person, they know. Oh, but look at that one, they have. Oh, but look at that one. And look at look outside, not having an idea what people are really living in their lives. Like We think that they're living whatever they're posting in social media, but we don't really know what's going on and we get affected by that and we compare ourselves to that why because we forget that all we can do here it's not about the others it's about ourselves and it's about owning that power that's lying dormant in us that power comes from your core familia it's in your core you actually wake it up through your pelvic floor through your navel Waking up the energy that pumps up, releasing all those crystals that are in your belly, accumulated from the past. It's like crystallized parts of the nervous system that have been there because of our history, what has happened in the past. And when we let go of that, when we release that, the energy starts flowing. What does that mean? The energy of creativity, of inspiration, the energy of manifestation, the energy of being who you are. Even if you're not manifesting money three days after, one month after, it doesn't matter. You're already tapped into the energy. You're already feeling better. You're already like super grateful with life. You have changed the most important that is the inside. And then slowly, with patience, continuing to do the work, you open it up to the outside world. It's just a result of the inner work. You get me? <laughs> 
It's a lot of information, guys. I know, but I just needed to share this with you. I just needed to share this with you guys because I see a lot of people losing their power and giving their powers to the government, giving their powers to the teacher, giving their powers to the parents, giving their powers away when it's all about empowering yourself. That's how you're going to start living in abundance, by empowering yourself. And I want to teach you all these techniques on how to do it. It's not only about doing it in your body. It's your mindset. It's how to deal with your emotions. It's how to wake up the energy in your body. It's how to wake up the energy in your quantum field, in your, in your energetic field that's around us. We can measure it. We can take a photo of it. Like, Science has proved that we have this energetic field being emanated outside, and this energetic field is part of your nervous system. And this, this energetic field, it's like a magnet that is being expanded like a signal. You're sending the signal out into the world and letting the world know where you're at. What are you attracting? What game are you playing? Who you are? How are you showing up? What kind of people do you want around you? How do you own your value? What kind of gifts are you sharing? How are you sharing them? How are you walking? How are you breathing? How are you moving? How are you talking? Who do you talk to? What books are you reading? What movies are you watching? All of it. Are you lost in the news and losing your power to some fake news most of the time that are just owned by the same families that own everything in the world and that manipulate the news in the way that they want? And we have been hypnotized by this news. I could go on and on and on on how we have lost our power. And all I'm telling you is be able to question everything and own your power back. I'm not going to give it to you. No one outside is going to give it to you. Only you can own it and wake it up inside of you. Nobody can do it for you. <laughs> how amazing is that? I know. I know it's hard sometimes. I know it's challenging, but it's amazingly possible. All right. So guys, again, if you want to wake up that inner power, if you want to learn to wake up that inner creativity, that inspiration, that energy flowing through you, it's already in you, but enhance it, amplify it, learn about it, become the master of your temple. If you're interested in that, tapping into different layers of deeper layers of abundance, of prosperity, comment below with prosperity. And I will share with you the link to this free workshop that we will be doing. Okay? So, let me know if you're interested. Let me know if this pumps you up. If, if you like this, let me know with a yes. If you're feeling this talk. And yes, if you're committed. And yes, that you love that I do these live streams. I'm doing this completely for free, guys. I love just sharing all this technology, all this information for you guys to, to take your life to the next level. Because if, we, if I do that for you and you do that for your family and then your family does it for other people and your community and on and on and on, that's how we change the world. I'm not asking a politician to change the world. I'm not asking to no one outside of me to change the world. I'm changing the world from within. Changing my own world in my own little family, in my own community with you guys, sharing all my gifts, the most that I can, so you can do the same with your community, guys. It's the only way. Not anymore giving our power, waiting for the president to change. Guys, hello, that's not going to change. The president is not going to change, okay? They're all ruled by the same. It's the same community that's ruling the whole planet, guys. It's all the same. The politics is all the same. That's not going to change. We have to change it from inside. And this is how we do it. Waking ourselves up and waking people up. So if you want to do that, if you're into that, if you want to get on this wave and surf it together, let's, let's, let's do it, guys. Okay? Let's do it. Let's rock it along together. If you're not part of the challenge, I invite you to be part of the challenge. We're doing a manifestation challenge. I'm, cha I'm, I'm, I'm uh, sharing a lot of information. There's a lot of people here in the challenge that I see that are really pumped up, and that's why they're, they're, they're showing up because they know, they know there's information showing up here that is going to help them. So if, if you want to take your life to the next level with this challenge, this challenge is all about manifestation, okay? So if you haven't heard of this challenge, for some reason, 
I've had a lot of trouble with, you know, Facebook showing this to people. You know, it's, it's crazy. Facebook is restricting me a lot, more than ever. Like, it's been crazy. I've had to do a lot to get this message out, you know, to offer something for free. It's, it's crazy, right? But now that you're hearing me and that you hear there's a challenge, if you want to be part of it, just comment below with manifestation and we will share with you the link to the challenge, okay? So two things going on. One, both for free, both for free. One is prosperity workshop, all about embodying prosperity, learning the science and art of prosperity. If you're interested for that, prosperity is your word, okay? If you wanna know about manifestation and how to really tap into that and learn all about the body and the mind and the brain and everything, which is very related to prosperity, but it's another angle, then comment below with manifestation and we will share with you the link to the challenge. There's already, I think, almost 2,000 people in the challenge. It's amazing, guys. You go in there and you share your intention and you share where you're at and you just let yourself know that you're there. Guys, you feel the support from the tribe. You really feel it. It's so beautiful because there's nothing like being with a group of people that are all like-minded, that are all in the same wave. It's really amazing. So if you want to be part of that, you're going to join us. You're free to join. Just comment below and we will share with you everything so you can thrive in your life. It's your time. If you feel your time is now, stop wasting your time. There's no time to waste, guys. The time is now. Things are going very fast on this planet and a lot of chaos and crisis are coming through. Very, we're already seeing it, but this is gonna go crazy. We all know this. This is gonna go crazy. It's just starting. Things are not gonna go back how we think they're gonna go back. That's not gonna happen. If you're still in that illusion, I tell you, don't even come to the workshops because I don't talk about that. I don't support that. I'm very clear what's going on behind the scenes. I'm very clear on who's ruling, who's, who's doing what and what's going on, you know? So I can't, I can't support that theory like one day we'll come back to normal. What is the normal? The normal for me and for a lot of people here, the normal is we are here to wake up our power. We are here to wake up our full potential. That's all we can do. And we can't wait for things to change outside of us. No more, guys. Stop wasting our time, you know? Let's do it. And let's do it together. It's time to unite. Not you doing here, someone there, someone there, me in my own little bubble. It's time to unite. United, we are stronger, guys. And that's what we do in these connections. That's what we do in these communities. That's what we do in these activations, okay? So if you want to be part of that, you're always welcome. I'm here for you. We are here for you. All right, familia? Loving you all so much. I got to jump now into a live stream I got to do with the Quantum Flow Practitioners. Uh, I want to show up for them because we are creating something very special together. So I need to show up in 10 minutes there. I want to drink my smoothie and get ready. But guys, it's time. It's time. The time is now. Okay? Let's do this. Okay? Familia, so good. So good to see you. Even if you watch the replay, I want to hear from you. Even if the, this happened three, years, yeah, <laughs> three days after and you, know, you just knew about the webinar, let us know. We'll send you the link. This is for free. It's always going to be there. Just tap in, replay, and put the magic words, prosperity and manifestation, and we'll share with you uh, all this information. And one more thing, guys. If you're going to be part of it, the only thing I ask as an exchange is share. You know? Let people know this is happening. Share. like Press the share button and share this live stream. Share it with your people, even if nobody watches it. Don't worry. Facebook, when they share it, Facebook sees me as someone that people want to see more. So they show more of my things. They show more of this to more people. You know, that's why sharing is important. Not because people are going to see it or not. It's not about your people seeing it. It's more about Facebook knowing that you're sharing and that this is something important for the people. If you don't share it, what per Facebook does is like, oh no, this person has to invest millions of dollars in order to share his free stuff that he wants to share because that's what Facebook is being right now. It's just a business and they want, want to make billions and trillions out of this and that's why they're doing with all of us. So how we support each other is sharing each other's stuff, especially when it's something you feel it's for value. So if you can share this with your people, I would really appreciate that. 
Thank you so much, everyone. I love you all so much. Remember, you are here to shine. Remember, you're here to wake up your full potential. And Instagram will get back to you. We already have uh, everybody that wrote Prosperity. We already have you here in line. We're going to share with you uh, the message because I know this live stream is going to be deleted. Okay, familia. Mucho amor. Mi corazón. A tu corazón. Un solo corazón. Pura vida.